Well, looky what we got here. Digging a little bit of mud out and put some ties in. That's a weld truck right there, the one closest to us. Uh, he, we had had a broken rail actually, had made a, uh, well, I'm sorry, not a broken rail. We had a pull apart there in that tunnel. I'd made a video of that where I showed you uh, some different ways to fix a pull apart. And uh, the welder was up here today and got that welded up. I'm up here on top of Polcat Hollow Road. Uh, I also made a video here of the cars coming through one time when they were rocking, rocking really bad. Uh, in the same spot. I was down here hauling ballast all morning till I run out of ballast and I uh, thought I would come up here and see what's going on up here. We've got some more activity on the other side of the road too. zoom in there a little closer tamper uh, surfacing crew that we have contracted here is down below there on the other side of the tunnel we're probably gonna have to come up here tomorrow and haul some ballast Getting a lot done in this shutdown. A lot of tamping going on. Got our crossing fixed down there at the harbor. Uh, got some rail, new rails installed. A lot of ties put in. So, so far we've got a couple more days on the shutdown before they get in, into their new long wall panel. And, um, that's where we're Happy to get everything done that we're getting done. Always something to do on the railroad. That, that this is going to be a significant improvement what this past week uh, week's worth has been. That was right down there where those joints were rocking. So I'm real glad to get that mud out of there. You saw in that one video where I made the cars rocking really bad after I tamped it but I told you it wasn't going to hold because of the mud in there so this is really a uh, a blessed thing to have happen here get that mud out of there we'll get some fresh ballast in and tamper up and it'll be a whole lot better more a uh, more permanent uh, fix okay let's see what's going on on the other side of the road Got the ties in. That trip machine's picking the uh, picking the rail up, and they're sliding the tie plate plates underneath the rail there.
didn't bring a lot of equipment out with them this time because we didn't have a, a whole lot of ties to replace. I don't know how many we're going to end up doing. Probably about five or so hundred. Um, so they, uh, the last tie gang they had when we had get a couple thousand, they had a, a machine called a plater. And I have a video on that too, plater. Wind's blowing pretty good up here. 80 degrees yesterday, today it's 50. Here in the middle of April. Got the grapple track back there. He's uh, setting the ties in place. And that trip machine's putting them back under. spike puller there in the middle he's pulling the spikes Sorry, I really can't. I can zoom in a little bit further, but it gets really wavy when I zoom in. Much more than this. quite a few years since we put ties in this section of the track. Quite a few. This is an area that was long wall mined under about 13 years ago. That's why there's so much ballast here because the track dropped up to three feet in places. When they long wall mine the roof, the, everything above falls back in. So we had to keep grade up with the track where it was supposed to be, keep uh, doing, uh, dumping ballast is the only way you could do it. We did a lot of, hauled a lot of ballast and did a lot of tamping up here. Haul ballast two days a week, tamp two days a week. Try to keep everything up. But we did okay, we didn't have any derailments. Of course, it was 10 mile an hour slow order. And, uh, Every time a train would come down through here where there was a long wall under, um, somebody would always walk the track after the train.
Okay, there you go. We're getting things done. Here at the, you guys have been here before at the uh, Kirby exit off of Interstate 79. So I wanted to uh, thank you very much for, for watching the show today. Hope you enjoyed this little clip. <laughs> Again, thank you. And uh, may you have a really good day. Happy rails to you. Until we meet again. And I'm sure we will. Really appreciate you guys. I really do.